Bim, thank you very much for uh, coming today. Given everything we've heard at this conference uh, today, what one action do you hope all businesses undertake once they get back to the workplace? I think there are two actions that all businesses need to undertake after having been to this fantastic Biz for Biz conference. Two things. First is think about their own energy usage and make it more efficient and make the right investments to make it more efficient and also make it green. Get your energy supply as green as possible. And the second thing is think about sustainability not necessarily as a social choice, not necessarily as even an environmental choice, but as a business choice, as a choice for their bottom line, because that's where things are going. Um, and given that point, what advice would you give to a business looking to actually place a value, a business value on their sustainability efforts? Well, the first thing is they need to think about how they use their energy, as I've said, but critically, what happens to the things that they throw away? What happens to the wastage that they have, if they have any at all? You know, there are businesses, there's a business here that reuses furniture that is about to be put into landfill. There are businesses that will reuse computers. There are businesses that will think about, do you need the office space that you have because people are working from home more? And can you maybe put yourself somewhere else which requires less driving for members of your staff? Those are all things that are not just good for the environment, but they're good for the bottom line. And we've got to build that in to your budgets. Like I've run a business, I've been involved in business before I was in politics. Build that into your budgets just as much as you might build in the normal things. And just finally, data is very important in all areas of society at the moment. At the moment as well with sustainability, how do you think people would use technology and data in a business sense to actually determine their success when it comes to sustainability? Well, it, it, it really depends what business you're talking about. The first challenge with data is getting a manageable amount of it. So what I'd urge businesses to do is to really think about what data they actually need. You don't look at, you can't look at everything. You can't process everything. There's just too much data in the modern world. Think very carefully about what metrics they actually need and make those as financial as possible, but make sure that you've got to capture the, the cost, for example, of throwing something away isn't just a, a cost to you, that's cost to your local community, that's cost to the society, that's cost to landfill. Try and price those things as best you can. And if you can't price certain things, then look for other businesses, many of whom are here at Biz for Biz in Hertfordshire, look for them to help you do that. Bim, there's been so much talked already today at the uh, Biz for Biz conference here at Rothamsted. What do you think is the one takeaway that you would hope people would have who've attended this, they'd go back to their workplaces with? Cutting your energy costs and acting in a more sustainable way, particularly, and I'm afraid to say, in light of what we're seeing in the Ukraine and the consequences of what I think those will be in terms of the world economy, in terms of inflation, in terms of world energy prices, is make your energy usage more efficient and act more sustainably. You have to do that now. Any investments now will bear fruit in the not-too-distant future. Bim, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you very much. Lovely.